Hello everyone and welcome. Today you will be seeing how you can install Hyperpanel on Hyperland on Arch Linux, right? So this works for other Linux distros too, but Arch Linux is just the simplest. If you're going to write something, then pretty much Arch is your go-to distro. Right now we do not have anything, there's no bar, so we'll just set that up. Open your browser and go to hyperpanel.com. Once you do that, you will find yourself here. Click on get started and install it, which is just installing AGS Hyperpanel Git. So copy that and paste it here. If you include the dash dash needed flag, then you are only going to install the package if it's not already installed, which in my case, it's already there, so nothing's going to happen. Great. Once that's done, we just scroll down to running Hyperpanel, which is over here. And what do we see? Once we've installed it, we can just run it using Hyperpanel. So copy that, paste it here. Okay. Sway Notification Center is already running. Now what's going to happen? Sometimes if you are using Sway and C as your notification daemon, it's not going to let you start Hyperpanel on its own. In that case, we're going to have to kill Sway and C multiple times. Sometimes it just doesn't want to die, so you have to keep killing it like five times. Great. Okay, seems like it still is not dead, so let's kill it more times. There we go. F okay, finally it works. Here is Hyperpanel for you guys. There you go. Great, now the font looks a bit big, and there is a lot more configuration we which we can do. So here is how to do that. Click on this little arch icon, and you click on settings. Once you do that, you get this option over here. So by default, the font is going to be none. For my system, I've configured it to be SF Pro text to be the default font. On yours, it's going to be something different, probably something like Noto Sans or some Sans Serif font. If you want to change that, so here's a pro tip, right? Here's a bonus. If you want to change the default font that you have, that's usually applied to applications that haven't received a font that's been defined by you, then you're gonna have to change something known as your font config. Now mine is in Etsy font config or it's in Etsy fonts local.conf, right? Create this file and you'll see something like this. So we have the font config tags and what we're doing is we are picking the family, let's say it's Serif for example, and we're setting our own font for it. So we're setting Serif UI text for Serif fonts, SF Pro text for Sans Serif fonts, and do the same for the other fonts too. For Monospace, it's SF Mono. So you could do something like, let's say you downloaded a font from Google Fonts and you put it in your .fonts directory. Now, what you're going to do is, you will create a file like this, right? I will leave the code for this file in the description. So just copy and paste this, and whatever fonts you want to change over here, for each family, you can do that. Just apply your own and for any application that you haven't defined fonts for, that's going to use this automatically. So just pro tip for you there. Hope you liked it, right? Great. Now let's get back to configuring this. So we'll just change this to something like SF Pro Display. Okay, increase the size. Now size doesn't really matter here. What actually matters is this font size over here so you can change this to something like one rem to decrease the font size if you want keep it 1.1 rem you can look at the size of text in your browser window or in any other window and compare it to that so if you want it to be a little bit bigger or smaller you can do that great want to wait to choose whether you want it to be bold or not you just figure this out by 600, 700, you just keep trying different font weights to see which one you like. This one looks pretty good, so we'll just keep that. Then some modules here, they're going to be a bit cut off. So right now, that is not the name of my network. It's actually Atlantis, but it's been truncated. So I'll just show you how to fix that. You go to, okay, never mind. It's in bar and you scroll down, you will find network over here. So you see truncate network name, you just turn that off and you get the entire network name here great then after that what else do we got 
that's pretty much it so if you want to configure this to look a bit more minimal here are the settings that you should apply okay so you can get shadow enable shadow that makes it look much much better then after that just go over to bar and just configure all the settings that you want to over here you can have a floating bar that makes it look like this and you can also make the background transparent so they're like little islands each of the modules let's turn that off right you can have auto hide too so if there's only one window on the workspace that you're currently in you can just have it hide the bar you can do that enable button borders makes it look like this now this is much more suited to probably just floating island style bar but depends on whichever one you like and apart from that here is the meat of the stuff more bar shadows if we want to apply them and apart from that we have settings for the shadows and margins paddings all of that okay so if we want to make this look more minimal all we have to do is just edit the modules that's the thing so here we're going to go over to bar and change the font or not the font but the format for the clock so if we scroll down we will eventually find the clock and here's what we have we can just make this more minimal by turning off all of this stuff percent i percent m and percent p we do that we get the time great and we can also change this icon to the clock icon which you can find from nerdfonts.com look for a clock icon paste that in here and apart from that that's pretty much it all the other modules we're going to need and the media we can also hide this if there is no media playing just need to find this here and let's see here auto hide turn that on and if there's no media playing it'll turn off most of the modules that you see over here can be configured from the bar section you just look for whichever module you want okay let's say it was the window title you didn't want the icon so you just scroll to title it'll be somewhere here yeah there you go window titles let's say you did not want the icon just turn off show icon and that's it if you also wanted to customize this and make it look more minimal you can just go over here click on dashboard menu and then customize that you can turn off the shortcuts and the directories if you're not going to access any of that so here looks much more minimal there you go just your stats some controls and log out great you can also change this avatar and apart from that there is one more thing it adds osd osd stands for on-screen display right and it gives you this this sort of pop-up whenever you change your volume or your brightness or you mute or anything like that and that too can be customized by clicking on osd and scrolling down just changing it to whatever you want and personally if you turn the shadows on so that it looks much better this fits in with the rest of the system so there's that you can also make it horizontal so that it comes over here let's see here yeah uh, just change the orientation to horizontal and need to change the position to bottom okay and add in more margin margins top right bottom left so for the bottom let's make it something like 50 pixels okay and there you go you can customize this even more if you wanted to be even more up top let's change the margins over here and if you wanted a linux rising course where i teach you over 1200 days worth of just rising knowledge that i have since it's so it's been like three years so i teach you everything i know in that course and trust me like it's going to help you out a lot like if you want to learn more about linux and about rising and customization and if you're the type of person who is ready to invest in their education to learn more stuff about the things that they love and enjoy if you're passionate about linux and if you like rising it then this course is definitely for you so just click the link in the description check it out i promise you the value that you're going to get out of that is is definitely it's it's amazing right so just click the link check it out and like share subscribe 
See you guys later. Peace.